Nightingale Sentinel. Sounds intense. Oh, he's dead? That makes sense. Hey, how are you? I don't recognize you, but I sense that you're one of us. Who are you? The last of the Nightingale Sentinels, I'm afraid. I've defended the Sepulchre alone for what seems like an eternity. We were betrayed by one of our own kind. In fact, I'm to blame for what's happened here. I was blinded. Blinded by dark treachery masquerading as friendship. Perhaps if I had been more vigilant, then Mercer Frey wouldn't have lured me to my fate and stolen the skeleton key. I haven't heard that name in a long Wow, Gallus. How do you know of me? I have the key. The key! You have the skeleton key! I never thought I'd see it again. And Mercer Frey? Oh, he's dead, my man. Then... It's over, and my death wasn't in vain. I owe you a great deal, Nightingale. I did this to get rich. <laughs> You've done the Guild a great deal, and although they may not show it, I'm certain they appreciate your sacrifices. My only regret is that you had to undertake this task alone. Carlyle? She's still alive? I feared she'd befallen the same fate, ending up a victim of Mercer's betrayal. Nothing would bring me more pride than to return the key, but I'm afraid it's impossible. From the moment I arrived here, I felt myself, well, dying. The Sepulchre isn't merely a temple or a vault to house the key. Within these walls is the Evermare, a conduit to Nocturnal's realm of Everglow. When Mercer stole the key, that conduit closed, severely limiting our ties to her. I'm afraid so. I'm weakening, and I can feel myself slipping away. The years without restoration of my power have taken their toll. Whatever Sorry to damage hear that. has been caused can only be corrected by following the pilgrim's path to the Evermere and replacing the key. The Evermere is a conduit through which nocturnal influences our world. Not through magic or blessings, but purely through luck. Yes, absolutely. Your skill is your own. Don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. But Nocturnal, she influences our life. Nearly imperceptible assistance we get when we ply our trade. Think about the guild. About the state it was in when you began. Think about all the little things you might have heard. A pick breaking when it shouldn't have. The clouds in the nighttime sky clearing at the wrong moment. Our access to those bits of luck are what separates us from common bandits. Precisely. There are a few who huh. still call nocturnal Lady Luck, and for good reason. What's wrong with the other Nightingale Sentinels? With the Ebonmere closed, and their sudden severance from the realm of Everglow, I fear they've undergone a drastic change. They're shadows of their former selves. They no longer remember their true purpose, or their original identities. My spirit didn't manifest itself in the Sepulchre immediately. So, fortunately, I wasn't present when the Ebonmere was sealed. However, 
Ever since that day, I've felt my power waning, slowly draining away. What will I face? I wish I could help you, but I've been a prisoner in this very chamber for the last quarter century. The only possible help I've come across are the remains of some poor fellow who is trying to follow in your footsteps. Perhaps his journal can help? Who? Okay. Good luck. Okay, so we have the journal now. And uh, let's see what it says. I don't know why I let Anders talk me into this plan. He said the place would be full of riches, but I have yet to see even a single gold coin. To make matters worse, I think the other priests are beginning to suspect we aren't who we say we are. If they discover we're posing as priests of Nocturnal, I'm sure they're not going to simply ask us to leave nicely. I'll have to watch my step. As an acolyte of Nocturnal, I've been assigned a mentor. Old Dark Elf fellow, <laughs> Old Dark Elf fellow by the name of Lithalus. Maybe if I act the part, I can pry some information from him about the Pilgrim's Path. Anders swears to me that all of the temple's wealth is stashed within their inner sanctum, which supposedly sits at the end of the path, so my job is to get us through the obstacle alive. Lithalus was easier to coax than I expected. Gave me a wealth of information on the Pilgrim's Path but he was speaking in riddles. I'll try to record what I remember here and share it with Anders after he's done with his mentor. The only thing Lithellus Lyth seemed clear about was that there were five tests on the path. This what he said about each. Shadows of their former selves, sentinels of the dark, they wander evermore and deal swift death to defilers. Okay, so shadows of their former former selves, sentinels of the dark. They wander evermore and deal swift death to defilers. Above all, they stand vigilance everlasting, beholden to the murk yet contentious, contentious of the glow. Above all, they stand vigilance everlasting, beholden to the murk yet contentious of the glow. Offer what she desires most, but reject the material. For her greatest want is that which cannot be seen, felt, or carried. Like I said before, she's like loyalty, you know, I don't know. Direct and yet indirect, the path to salvation, a route of cunning with fortune betraying the foolish. The journey is complete, the empress... Empress's embrace awaits the fallen. Hesitate not if you wish to gift her your eternal devotion. He also mumbled some nonsensical phrases like, Night is the new day, and now he was the ghost of the sun. I have no idea what these... Wait, what was that last one? And how he was the ghost of the sun. I have no idea what these cryptic sentiments mean but hopefully during tomorrow's ritual Anders and I will put everything we've learned to the test so don't okay I understand now it said darkness is the new day night is the new day so stay oh dang so stay out of the light I get it I don't need full-on Nightingale, I don't think, so I'm going to equip my other bow really fast because it's better because I made it, I have superior, I, I fixed it up on the grinding stone just in case we run into anybody. Cut that trap. Okay, so I need to stay in the dark. Which means I need to jump. Do everything to stay out of the light. Jeez, that's so bright. Or it just at least it seems bright. Oh no, what was that? 
Sheesh. Jump over. I'm just going to jump over that one. Jeez, how do I get past this? Alright, I'm going to save real quick. Got some serious puzzles going on. Stay in the darkness. Aw, oh, crap. How do I get past this part? Maybe there's another way? No, I don't think there's another way. Jeez. I wonder if there's anything hidden back here. There's gotta be... Bethesda had to have put some Easter eggs around here. In the dark and everything. How do I... Is there a way to turn out the lights? Oh, dang it. I don't want to die. Well, that was close. Alright, I did it. I guess I can go into the light now. Okay. I hear spiders crawling or something crawling. No, that's just a fire. Oh, here's nocturnal. Alright, this is about to be... About to have a serious talk, I feel like. I don't know if I want to uh, take anything from that. I know this opens, that's obvious. So. Oh my gosh, I didn't see these chains. Oh, and that puts out the fire. See? Shade the sun. Oh, I, kn I knew it. Oh, there it is. It's open. So sh I guess she loves the darkness is her freaking thing. All right. I didn't even step over that trap. I'm going to step over this one probably. Alright, and there's another trap right there that I may have run over. Shoot something out of there, probably. And there. And there. Wow, okay. Glad we missed that one. Oh! Dang, is it gonna swing again? No? Alright. And, uh, we're. I feel like we're at the end of the. end of the, uh. Thieves Guild quest line. But you never know. these things tend to last forever I know like these uh the guild quest lines they last as long as the the main quest line the main quest line has 20 quests and I know some of the guilds have even more than that and I guess I'm gonna have to fall fall all the way down break my legs but I'll do it yeah Oh, Anders. Anders' message. Dagger of Sparks. We're full now. Anders. Wait. Oh, man. Are we stuck? Map. Why do we drop in here? Alright. Oh my gosh, this is creepy. I kind of want to read Anders' note. Oh. Return the skeleton key to Ebonmare. Okay. So we, we beat the Pilgrim's Path. 
Anders was freaking dead there. Okay. Jesus, dark area. I'll put it there in a second. I want to read his note first before things get crazy. Mysterious note. No, it was Anders. Anders note. Anders message. I can't believe it. I came all this way, solved all those ridiculous riddles, just to end up here. After I memorized Nystrom's clues he collected from Lythelis, I slit his throat. Now I guess the joke's on me because I'm stuck here and I don't see a way out. Hope someone comes by soon. I'm getting hungry. Yeah, well, he dar dard died of starvation. And uh, we'll put the key in. Boom. Oh, oh. Wow, there she is. My, my, what do we have here? It's been a number of years since she I looks like she has a hair on her chest. Or perhaps it's been moments one tends to lose track. So, once again, the key has been stolen, and a champion returns it to the sepulchre. Now that the Ebonmere has been restored, you stand before me awaiting your accolades. A pat on your head, a kiss on your cheek. What you fail to realize is your actions were expected and represent nothing more than the fulfillment of your agreement. Don't mistake my tone for displeasure. After all, you've obediently performed your duties to the letter. But we both know this has little to do with honor and oaths and loyalty. It's about the reward, the prize. Fear not. You'll have your trinkets, your desire for power, your hunger for wealth. I bid you to drink deeply from the Ebonmere mortal, for this is where the agent of Nocturnal is born. The oath has been struck, the die has been cast, and your fate awaits you in the Everglow. Farewell, Nightingale. See you with the key stayed this time, won't you? I'll try my best. What are you doing? How'd you get here? I'm glad you were able to bring the key back safely. Nocturnal seemed quite pleased with your efforts. I wouldn't take that to heart. It's her way. Think of her as a scolding mother continually pushing you harder to be successful, outwardly sounding angry, but silently content. I assure you, had she been displeased with you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. The circles at the base of the Ebonmere imbue you with powers befitting a Nightingale agent. The crescent moon represents the agent of shadow, the half moon for the agent of subterfuge and the full moon for the Agent of Strife. This is Nocturnal's way of maintaining balance. If you ever feel the need to change your abilities, you can return to the Sepulchre and step onto a different circle. Be warned that once you've chosen, you can't reselect for at least a day. Now, your life as a Nightingale begins. Should the need arise, you'll be summoned to the Sepulchre in order to defend it. And you? The guild has welcomed me back with open arms. I feel like a void in my life has finally been filled. I only hope that this isn't an ending to things, but actually the beginning. Beginning of what? Why, perhaps the greatest crime spree Skyrim's ever known. <laughs> there are pockets brimming with coin and coffers overflowing with riches ripe for the picking. You dirty slut. We may be nightingales, but in our hearts we're still thieves. And we're damn good at what we do. Oh. Okay, tell me about Nightingale. Tell me about the Agent of Strife. This Agent of Strife can send forth a tendril of pure darkness into the heart of another, causing great injury to them. At the same time, this tether will bolster the Agent's own life force, making him stronger. Tell me about the Agent of Stealth. The Agent of Stealth is the master of remaining unseen. 
they are able to manipulate the darkness and use it to their advantage. On moonlit nights or in darkened rooms, this agent literally becomes invisible. Nice. The agent of subterfuge utilizes shadow to cloud the judgment of those around him. By weaving the darkness to their will, this agent can manipulate others into fighting for the Nightingale for a limited time. Hmm. So damage a tendril of darkness into their heart. Pure stealthness, which could be useful, but and then subterfuge, which is uh which is sort of a I can't imagine as sort of a speech or illusion type of thing. Well basically it'll probably be like magic that I can just make someone anyone fight for me. We uh, Hmm. Choose your path and your journey will be complete. Alright, let me uh which one is oh What did I just stand on? Carlyle? I didn't even what I stand on. Oh dang it. I didn't even realize. Dallas. So the crescent moon was stealth, I think. I feared I would never see you again. I will <laughs> Hold on. I didn't even realize which one I chose. That was definitely on accident. Invisible was sneaking. Okay, I can deal with that. Afraid you'd become like the others. If it were not for the actions of this nightingale. Your oh, check me out. Come true. He honors us all. What will you do now, my love? Nocturnal calls me to the Everglow. My contract has been fulfilled. Will I ever see you again? When you're dead, will it race once again? Oh well, Gallus. Eyes open. Walk with the shadows. Goodbye, Carlyle. Bye, Gallus. You're a cool dude, man. You're a cool man, dude. Man, dude, dude, man. Go then. I'm coming with you, Mr. Frodo. Wow, so I completed the uh, Thieves Guild quests? Man. Kind of a bummer. I feel sad. So I guess I'm the lord, the leader of the thieves guild, and I'm freaking sweet. In the darkness, I can turn invisible. Are you kidding me? Now I can be freaking Frodo. Ooh. Boom. 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 What a. It's good to see you in one piece, lad. I just wanted to give you a proper thank you for everything you've done. The guild is back on its feet again, and on its way to a prosperous future. What's become of the skeleton key? That's it then. After all those years of helplessly watching the guild decline. But enough of that. I'm confident that with you in charge, we'll soon have more gold than we could possibly spend. Hopefully, man. I'll be down here, trying to coordinate everything with Delvin and Vex, to make sure the coin keeps flowing, and no one skims. If you still feel like doing some jobs, I'm sure Delvin and Vex have more than their fair share to give out. Either way, it's been a pleasure, my friend. Here's to the future of the Guild. May it last another thousand years. A thousand years? Wow, that's a long time. If I do say so myself, you know what I'm saying? Alright guys, well, um, that really, that does it. That concludes the, uh, concludes the Thief Guild quest line. But anyway guys, I thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more Skyrim videos, and, um, yeah, thanks for watching.